Welcome to the Flatsum e-commerce WordPress theme tutorial basic course. If you love everything you've seen in this video, stick around till the end to learn more about the advanced course where we go over things like this in more depth and breadth. Now, here's the rest of the course. Hey, welcome back. And today we're going to talk about featured items. And the Flatsum demo, they had a page called Portfolio. And this is what it is. It's basically just a list of their featured items. Now there's something you need to know here. Featured items are not featured posts, they're not featured pages, and they're not featured products. What featured items are in Flatsum? Well, it's something unique to Flatsum that I'm gonna show you. What they essentially are, are their own type of post with their own unique content that you can add stuff to. What kind of stuff, you may be asking? Well, that's a great question because a featured item is kind of like a post because you can have categories and tags, but it's also like a page because you can use the Flatsum page builder on it. So let me show you how all this works. This is the featured items back end. It looks kind of like and pretty much identical to the posts back end and the pages back end. And when we click on add new, it'll look pretty much identical to the page editor. As you may remember, if we try to add a new page, this is what it looks like. Pretty similar, but we can't add any of the page stuff here. We can use the page builder on our featured items, which is an awesome thing that we can get from pages. We don't have to deal with page attributes. We do get to have a featured image. And also like creating a new post, we have categories and tags. And this is what really sets a featured image apart from either a post or a page. We get kind of the best of both worlds because we get categories, tags, and featured image, and we get the page builder. Before we go on creating a featured item, we have to understand the parts of a featured item. They're not exactly the same as posts and pages because there's some stuff you really need to use and you can't really go around it. So before we go adding stuff here, I'm gonna take you back to the official demo site to show you what's going on. Of course, here on the landing page, we have a featured item element and I'll get into that in a minute. But here, of course, we have a featured image, we have the title and we have the category. Once we click on it, what we have here again, well, on my browser, it's not showing up, so sorry about that. But here are, is the content, the meat that you put in here. Over here on the left side, you have the excerpt. This is all there in that little tiny area. This is built into Flatsum, so that's not content that you put in there. The tags is the title, and here's the category. I highly, highly recommend you use all of them. Again, I apologize, you can't see the slider here. Uh, my browser just being weird. So we have we need the title, we need the content, we need the excerpt, we need a category, and we need tags, and of course, a featured image. Now it's time to add our first featured item. For now, I'm going to add just a title, category, tags, well, one tag for now, and a featured image and an excerpt. I'm not gonna put the content in here just yet. So let's pause for a second while I enter that. All right, I have the basics in here, just not the content yet. So we're gonna click publish. Great, our stuff is saved. And the reason I didn't put my content in here is because remember the Flatsum page builder is still in beta. So there's some trouble saving sometimes. So what I'm gonna do first is just add a basic text element, click update to make sure it saves or not. And yes, it saves, which means we can go forward safely. I'm just gonna leave that default content in there though. I'm gonna add some basic elements in here just to you know fluff it up for you to show you guys how it works. Let's add that and let's add another banner just because banners are cool. Everybody loves banners. What I need here though is two images for my banners. So I'm gonna pull two images up from the media library. I'm going to add the nice green image just because I can. Edit this thing, that. We don't need to worry about a link. And for this other one, let's add mm, the nighttime image. Again, just click edit. 
remember, Platsum doesn't have everything completely done yet. So for the background, you have to get the link yourself. Click select. So it writes it in there and then click save. So now let's update and let's see how our featured item looks like. Pretty cool, right? We have our category, title, short description, slash excerpt, tags. We have our content over here and we have our two banners. But as you may have noticed, this banner is all messed up and wacky. Well, that's because this banner we selected was made to be wide. Well, as you see, we also don't have that much space. We have basically a third here and two thirds area here. So there's limited space. So instead of two banners here, maybe one wider one or two taller ones, maybe a slider, basically content that's not really wide if you're trying to squeeze a few things together side by side. But you may be thinking, hold on, where's our featured image? Oh, there it is. Well, it's not what you think. Right down here is more or less the related stuff to this featured item, the related featured items. That's where it goes. The featured image for the fe featured item, I know it's kind of confusing there, does not show on the featured item. It only shows on either a quote unquote portfolio page or essentially where you use the featured items element. If you'd love to get some great ideas on what to actually do with featured items, how to best use them, get some live examples, and even how to showcase them and where to put them and what's the whole user flow in them, check out the advanced course where I talk about all that and more. So thanks for watching my video about featured items in Flatsum. Remember, a featured item is no different than a page or post except it kind of combines best of both worlds and you can do really cool things like this where it shows you really cool stuff like this and if my browser worked right you actually see a slider here but that's another story so see you in the next video hey thanks for watching and if you really enjoyed this course and want to learn more you can check out the advanced course by clicking here in the advanced course we go over much more of this go really in depth and go over a lot of topics that we can't go over in the basic course if you love what you've seen here and want to get more free videos, click subscribe over here or click right here to get more videos. Thanks.